Welcome to Basics Advocacy. PTA was founded by advocates and has a strong history of impacting education policy and advocating for children. Advocacy is required to achieve success for all children. We appreciate you spending the time to learn more about this important work. These are the items that we hope that you take away from this course. Be able to understand and talk briefly about the Texas PTA legislative priorities both during and outside of the legislative session. You should be aware of the decisions made at the local, district, state, and national levels and understand how many decisions are made locally that you can impact without leaving your district. Know the importance of a position, resolution, and priority. Prepare to engage with your legislators during the legislative session, specifically, know when and where rally day will take place and in between sessions at their local office. PTA is a membership association that advocates. Our membership number directly relates to our level of influence at the local, district, state, and national levels. The word advocate can be intimidating, but I would bet that you have been an advocate many times, even if that's not what you called it. Anyone who speaks for another is an advocate. PTA is an advocate for children and their families on a wide variety of child-related issues in the areas of education, health and well-being, and parent involvement. The purpose of advocacy is to communicate to decision-makers and to inform, educate, persuade, or increase the level of awareness about an issue. Decision-makers include elected and appointed officials, legislative bodies, school boards, and local school campuses. Your role is to raise awareness of the issues. The most important aspect of this position is to inform your members and provide accurate, relevant information. You are continuing a long-held tradition of grassroots advocacy by providing all the facts, motivating and mobilizing those concerned to speak for or against an issue or cause, encouraging voting at the polls, Texas PTA has over 450,000 members and is the second largest child advocacy association in the nation. As members, we are all advocates for our children. The person in this position is a key communicator to elected and appointed officials who have the authority to affect change, as well as to parents and families who are PTA members who are expecting the change. You are the middleman in the communication chain. So how can a PTA advocate? Every PTA member can be an effective advocate. Members should keep informed about the issues. You should choose issues important to your membership and build their support for your cause. Most importantly, you and your members must learn to work together. Why advocacy? The advocacy chair's role is to educate and inform your membership about legislation and issues that affect children and families at all levels. Building relationships with your legislators is an important part of this role. It is key to have an understanding of what issues are decided at what level. National issues include public school funding and accountability standards. State issues include public school funding vouchers, teacher and staff shortage and retention, student mental health and the state AF accountability system. Local campus issues such as testing coordination, homework and grading policies, and healthy lifestyles are decided by a principal or site-based committee at the campus level. Other policies or decisions, such as testing days, budget cuts, bonds, grade point average, and class rank policies, are made at the district level with the approval of the school board. It is important to know how many decisions and the importance of those decisions are made at the district or local level. We assume that the Texas Education Agency or state mandates particular policies and actions. However, that isn't necessarily accurate. Educate yourself on the autonomy given to districts and local campuses. You would be surprised regarding how much influence parents and community members can have at this level. TXPTA included a resource from Texas Educators Vote in our PTA Votes online toolkit that focuses on who does what in public education. 
This and other great resources are located on txbta.org slash pta boats to help you educate yourself and your local members on the many aspects of education issues in Texas and the importance of voting in every election. At a glance, these are the primary responsibilities of an advocacy chair. We'll cover them throughout this presentation, but I wanted to highlight a few here. One of the first things you should do after being appointed as advocacy chair is to find a few people to help you. Nobody should volunteer alone, it's selfish. Developing and working with a committee is critical to the advocacy chair's success and sanity. It helps accomplish goals and build leaders. Two of the most important aspects of this position are participation and communication. You do not need to be an expert on how a bill becomes law or the inner workings of the House and Senate chambers. If you are a good communicator and can build consensus around an issue and get people excited about it, you will be great. Every executive board member completes a plan of work, as stated in the bylaws, which is approved by the executive board before any action is taken. This plan provides direction throughout the year and keeps you focused and on track. Additional items to be aware of while formulating your plan. State your goals and then break those down into action steps. These action steps can follow a timeline or can be stated broadly. Include action steps for the chair and the entire committee. Establish deadlines according to any external timelines. Include a budget. Remember to put expenses in your budget for straight talk for February of even years and rally day, travel, etc., for February of odd years. You may also consider funds for candidate forums, bulletin boards, etc. Participation is a critical part of your role as advocacy chair. Be aware of and support the legislative priorities, positions, and resolutions that Texas PTA approves for each session. On our Texas PTA website, subscribe to our advocacy newsletter under the dome. As one of the largest children's advocacy organizations in the nation, all council and local PTAs should identify an advocacy chair, attend rally day, organize a mobilization effort for all locals to attend from your area, participate and encourage all members to participate in rallies and legislative calls for action as promoted by Texas PTA. In non-legislative years, organize and or participate in Texas PTA Straight Talk watch parties. Straight Talk focuses on a relevant, timely issue for our children and youth. Host educational forums for candidates for elected office, i.e., local school board candidates or state board of education candidates. Encourage voter registration and turnout. Determine what issues are important to your PTA and its members and help them find ways to address these issues locally or with the help of Texas PTA. Apply for awards and recognition. National PTA and Texas PTA have awards for effective local advocacy efforts. Your strongest tool as the advocacy chair is communication. 90% of your workload will be through some sort of communication. More people will be able to make informed decisions on the important issues affecting their children based on the effective forms of communication you use. You will want to determine appropriate communication channels for parents, teachers, and community members. You may consider using social media, email, a newsletter, flyers, a web page, text apps, and announcements and programs at PTA meetings. Add important advocacy and legislative dates to your PTA calendar and announce them at meetings. Encourage members to subscribe to Under the Dome, our Texas PTA Advocacy e-newsletter. The advocacy chair keeps the local PTA executive board and membership aware of the pending national, state, and local legislative issues, including happenings in the community such as school board elections, bond elections, and general elections, as well as the Texas PTA Rally Day and Straight Talk events, federal legislation and policy updates, state legislation and policy updates, candidate forums, partner with other organizations such as the League of Women Voters or other nonprofit groups who have this as their main purpose, to moderate and assist you. A legislative position is a statement outlining the association's opinion, will, or intent to address statewide problems, situations, or concerns that affect children and youth. 
A position statement usually requires initial action to seek resolution on the issue, but it is sometimes maintained, even after action has been taken, to substantiate the association's continuing will. The position must be approved by the membership or authorized delegates. All constituent associations are then bound by the position or resolution. For example, Texas PTA, as well as all PTAs it serves, are bound by national PTA's positions and resolutions. A local PTA is bound by any position or resolution adopted by its council PTA, Texas PTA, or national PTA. The Advocacy Resource Guide and Texas PTA website can guide you step by step on how to write and adopt positions and resolutions. Some position do's and don'ts are do obtain the approval of the local or council PTA's membership. Do adopt positions that are not divisive for the PTA. It would not be appropriate to take a position on a boundary change or to support closing one school over another. Do not adopt a position that duplicates or conflicts with an adopted position of Texas or National PTA. Texas PTA Advocacy Committee identifies legislative priority issues and presents them to the Texas PTA Board of Directors. Once these issues are adopted by the Board of Directors, all PTAs are asked to support these efforts. The Advocacy Committee is constantly monitoring and working on issues of statewide interest for the children and youth of Texas. They may include hot issues that have the potential to have great positive or negative impact on children or families, Issues that Texas PTA has decided to put their energy and effort behind during the legislative session. Issues that emerge from and support an adopted Texas PTA or National PTA resolution or position. Some considerations made when determining Texas PTA legislative priorities are Feedback from members through surveys and Texas PTA also looks at what is realistically attainable within a certain time period. There may be some issues that are not chosen because they have the potential to divide or not unite PTA into one strong voice. This may mean that this issue is best addressed later or when it no longer has the potential to divide our members. What is an advocacy project? This is a project your PTA can work towards to promote the health and well-being of children and youth in collaboration among parents, schools, and the community at large. Some guidelines for your advocacy project are Identify the issue Develop the preliminary plan Confirm relevancy to the membership Obtain executive board and membership approval Support an adopted position slash resolution if issue-based Confirm it does not conflict with Texas or national PTA positions slash resolutions Coordinate the focus with all other executive board members, school and district personnel, and community resources. Coordinate efforts with other local or council PTAs working on the same issue. Rally Day is also a great local advocacy project. Mobilize your local PTA leaders and members to travel to Austin to meet with legislators on our designated day in February every other year during the session. Straight Talk is a powerful virtual event on the years outside of the session. If you have a council, find out if they are coordinating a watch party. If not, plan a watch party to get your community involved in this powerful virtual event. Speaking of Rally Day, Texas PTA Rally Day is a one-day event held in odd-numbered years when the legislature is in session. Local and council PTAs throughout the state gather in Austin in February to speak to the legislators in favor of the adopted priorities identified for that session. This event shows the collective voice of the PTA in advocating improving the health, safety, education, and welfare of all Texas children. The day's agenda includes a variety of activities, events, training, and testimony. Preparation for the event is provided through multiple webinars and social media channels. Texas PTA's over 450,000 members can have a very strong impact on the direction of legislation for children. As the advocacy chair, you will coordinate your PTA's participation and will be a key player in the effort to mobilize members, including secondary students, to come together for grassroots advocacy. This is a day of learning, advocating, meeting with your elected representative, and having a clear united voice for a united purpose, our children. 
Texas PTA understands advocating for students happens every day, every year. Texas PTA does not sit idle or stop advocating in non-legislative years. In even-numbered years, we hold a virtual straight talk event to expand our knowledge in specific areas of concern. Past straight talk topics have included youth vaping and mental wellness. As an advocacy chair, you should encourage straight talk participation. The following tips will help you effectively prepare for straight talk. Coordinate a watch party for PTA leaders and members. Coordinate snacks and or goodie bags to encourage participation. And consider contacting community or district level experts on the straight talk topic to speak before or after the virtual event. Your bylaws provide guidance regarding actions centered around advocacy. All PTAs are non-commercial, meaning we will not make a profit over what we need to fund our programs and events. Non-sectarian, meaning we do not support any one religious group. Non-partisan, meaning we are not biased toward any one group, particularly a political group. Sections B and C describe, in detail, ways we can engage, empower, and promote the health, safety, and wellness of Texas students while advocating for a quality education for all children. Pay special attention to Article 4.C. It is important for all PTA members to understand that while citizen participation in the campaign of elected officials is encouraged, it is imperative that you not misrepresent your position or PTA as supporting any elected office or official. Doing so could have consequences for your local or council PTA, including losing your non-profit status. For more information, or if there is a question about what you are allowed to do, contact the TXPTA President or TXPTA Advocacy Chair before you participate. New Texas PTA Awards for Students, Local PTA, and Council PTA Advocacy Efforts began at launch 2021. The Texas PTA Child Advocacy Awards includes two levels, Be the Voice and Outstanding Advocates for Children. The application comes out towards the end of the school year, so be on the lookout. Make sure you keep track of your efforts so Texas PTA can recognize your PTA for those efforts to advocate and bring awareness to issues that affect positive change in the lives of children and youth and so others can benefit from your activities. Identify someone who can take your position when your term is up. Ask them personally and explain the qualities they will bring to the position. When we advocate, we teach. As a PTA executive board member, our constant task is to train for the future and to prepare others to lead. As the advocacy chair, you will work to build strong relationships within your executive board, your school, and your community. Always look for and identify future leaders for your PTA and your position. Remember to thank the members of your committee. Remember, committees consist of more than one person. Each chair should enlist additional people to help with the goals and objectives of the committee. Texas PTA offers a wide range of resources to help you be successful. The Texas PTA website at txpta.org contains several useful resources that are available to all PTA members. Here are just a few of those resources. The Advocacy Resource Guide has a plethora of information and goes into more detail than this training. Advocacy Toolkit includes information on candidate forums, bond resolutions, and mentoring a decision maker. PTA Votes is a Texas PTA campaign and toolkit to encourage voting and getting information before you vote. Voter Voice allows PTA leaders and members to sign up for and participate in take action campaigns, find legislation, and find their elected officials and candidates. Under the Dome is our legislative newsletter, keeping leaders and members informed on topics that impact our children. Our Rally Day webpage includes information about registering for live webinars or viewing recorded webinars in preparation for Rally Day and plugging in on social media. Texas PTA holds training events throughout the year, including our signature event, launch, which is typically held in July. The National PTA also has an annual convention held every June and a legislative conference typically held in March. The National PTA's website is pta.org and it has a full tab of advocacy resources. 
Additional training for this position and advocacy-related information can be found at txpta.org slash advocacy dash chair. Texas PTA staff and volunteer leaders are here to answer any of your questions regarding your position. Our toll-free number is 1-800-TALK-PTA or email us directly. Thank you for your time and attention. I hope that this training has been beneficial and it will make your work in PTA easier and more enjoyable. If you have any questions in the future, please know that your field service representative and council leaders are always ready to help.